Uh, the community of Everett is reeling after one of their police officers was shot and killed just yesterday. Investigators say a 50 year old suspect pulled the trigger and is now in custody. Fox 13's Dan Griffin live at the scene this morning with the latest on this investigation and how the community is responding. Dan, good morning. Good morning to you, Brian. Yeah, as we were saying, you know, in Pierce County, people were already mourning the loss of a deputy. Now here in Everett, people are paying respects to an officer killed in the line of duty. You can see messages and then also the flowers placed here on this cruiser in his honor. According to the Snohomish County Multi-Agency Response Team, 41-year-old officer Dan Rocha approached a man in the parking lot of a Starbucks on North Broadway yesterday afternoon as the man was apparently behaving in a suspicious way. That escalated, leading to what has been described as a tussle and the suspect firing shots at officers. Rocha. Where the gun came from is not clear yet. We're also told the suspect ran Rocha down with his car, speeding off in a Mini Cooper. That led to a chase, ending with the Mini Cooper plowing into two vehicles at 35th Street and Rucker Avenue, where the suspect was arrested. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. It's a tragedy. It doesn't need to happen. It really doesn't. But for it to happen, and for innocent people get infected by it, it's terrible. He was a great man, a great father, a great husband. Um, his crew members loved working with him. He loved this job. You know, he came here as a parking enforcement officer originally and, and knew that this is what he ultimately wanted to do was serve the community in this capacity. And he worked hard to become an Everett police officer. Um, he loved what he did. Now, we're told Rocha had been with the department since 2017. He has a wife and two sons, as well as what's described as a large extended family. Uh, back here at the cruiser, you can see his name is placed on the cruiser. There are also flowers, many flowers that have been placed here in his honor as this community really tries to unpack what has happened and they try to pay their respects to an officer just doing his job. That's the latest live here in Everett. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News. All right, Dan, thank you.